In this tutorial, I want to cover the basics of how to manipulate a part in your viewing screen. So if you want to rotate or zoom on the part in both part files and assembly files. Down here on the bottom, you will see a panel that has various tools of that nature. Uh, the most common one you can use to zoom is just the scroll of your mouse. And you can zoom in or out in the part like that. Uh, you can also use this mouse zoom button where you can uh, click just to zoom in and out. Uh, one feature I like is the zoom area. Um, if I would be working on a particular area of a part or assembly, so if, say I'd want to edit this and look in more closely to that, I would click the zoom area button and I can select that region and it will zoom nicely into that. Uh, this this tool is to fit the part to your screen. So if you click that, it will just fit the part to the whole screen. The pan is one feature how to move the part. So if I click on that, I can just pan around the part and look at different areas. And about rotation. Now there is one feature here that you can rotate the part about different axes. So there's a Z, Y, and X coordinate system that pops up. Uh, to view the back of it, say, I would just rotate about the Z axis. And it's identical in this part, but say there there could be other features that you'd want to view. Um, if I'm interested in the bottom, say I could rotate about the Y axis, and I'm at the bottom. Uh, you can also rotate about features of the part. So, if I don't want to rotate about this coordinate system, say I want to rotate about this edge, I can just click on it, and then I can drag to scroll about that line. And that went on my viewing window, so I'll click this fit button to fit it to my screen. Now there is also default views under this view orientation that you can restore to a certain standard view. Now there's face sides where just um, show a particular face, which would be helpful uh, if you're looking at just one face of a part, or there is standard three-dimensional view. So there's a diametric view, ISO view, and trimetric view, and you'll hear about those in Intro to Engineering.